Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Today we are going to talk about Kashmir stag, that is Hangul. This is the JNK state animal also, and a massive decline in the population has been noticed. So we'll discuss in detail about this animal, where it is found, and what are the concerns and challenges in the conservation of this animal. So for my video updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. This is a channel Study IQ. If you're preparing for any government exam, our pen drive and tablet courses are also available. For additional information, you can call us on our numbers or you can visit our website too. The PDF of this lecture will be available on our website in both the languages, Hindi and English. Now, what is the relevance of this topic from your examination point of view? It could be asked in your mains paper 3. At objective level, you should know what is Kashmir's track, Hangul. At subjective level, what are the conservation measures being taken up? Now, let's talk why we are talking about Hangul today because a massive decline in the population of Kashmir's iconic wildlife species has been seen. The scientific name of Hangul, basically Hangul is a species of a deer. So, the Hangul, the name, your scientific name is Servus Hanglu Hanglu and it is commonly known as Kashmir stag and now declining population is a matter of big concern. So, where it is found, Hangul is restricted to the Dachigam National Park. So, now let me uh, show you where is Dachigam. So, here this is the globe and you can see here I have already marked this Dachigam National Park right so we will zoom it now to see it more closely so firstly i'll show you the map now if you're using google maps you know there are two versions satellite and you can see in a satellite version or you can see in a map version so this is map version is important because you should know here it is dachigam so we will little bit zoom it more so bringing it here let me tell you here there's srinagar and it is like 22 kilometers away from Srinagar Dachigam National Park. Right. So here you can see Gulmarg, Srinagar, these areas. Now let me show you the satellite view. So from satellite, it looks somewhat like this. So we'll bring it closer. Dachigam. So here it is Srinagar, right. So it is 22 kilometers from Srinagar. Now watching it in a 3D view will give you more idea of the area and zooming it more so this is how dachigam national park is now dachigam national park is located 22 kilometers from srinagar it covers an area of 500 square kilometers now the name of this park that is dachigam national park it literally stands for 10 villages which could be in memory of 10 villages that were relocated from its formation these 10 villages were living in this region before the world war one the beginning of the early 20th century and this park so you can see the whole area here has been protected since 1910 first under the care of maharaja of jammu and kashmir and later under the observation of the concerned government authorities it was initially created to ensure clean drinking water supply for the city of srinagar and later it was upgraded and declared as national park in the year 1981 now you have seen it in Google Maps, we'll come back again to Hangul. Now Hangul, you should know, it is the state animal of Jammu and Kashmir. It is restricted to Dachigam National Park. So that is like northwest of Jammu Kashmir and summer capital Srinagar. I have shown you that in map. Now Hangul is placed under schedule one of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act. But it is again, it is there in the JNK. JNK is a separate Wildlife Protection Act 1978. So it is there also. Now the Hangul was once widely distributed in the mountains of Kashmir and parts of Chamba district in neighboring Himachal Pradesh. Now IUCN's red list has classified it as critically endangered and is similarly listed under the Spe Species Recovery Program of the Wildlife Institute of India and the Environmental Information System also. Now why talking about Hangul is very crucial here. Now see, from a population of around 5,000 in the early 1900s, the Hangul's numbers have constantly declined over the decades. The Hangul is considered equally significant to the state of Jammu Kashmir as the tiger is to whole of India. We should need to understand this. Now see, it is the only Asiatic survivor or subspecies of European red deer. 
if you have heard about the red deers europe red deers but the state animals decreasing population remains a big concern now according to a latest survey uh, that take took place in 2017 so i will show you this also so these are the diminishing numbers they are showing what what was their number in 1947 then 1980s you can read here so according to the latest survey in 2017 which here they have shown it is underway but now we have the data for this now 2019 survey is underway we are waiting for the data in 2017 the population of hangul was 182 in dachigam and in adjoining areas earlier the population estimate suggested that they were around 197 deers in 2004 and 186 in 2015 you can see the data here now iucn red data book which contains list of species at risk extinction has declared hangul one of the three species that were critically endangered in jnk so this is very important for you from prelims point of view what are the other species which are declared critically endangered in jnk so other species are one is markhor so markhor is basically world's largest species of wild goat that is found in kashmir and several regions of central asia and then there is chiru if you have heard about it chiru this is a tibetan antelope found there okay these three are the critically endangered species which are at a verge of extinction in jnk now what kind of threats are there say the biggest challenges which have been identified by experts in the way of conservation and population growth of hangul are habitat fragmentation predation and very low fawn female ratio then lack of desirable breeding and fawn survival is grave concern for the population growth another challenge is the male female and fawn fawn is the young deer okay young of springs of the hanguls so another challenge is the male female and fawn adult disparity in the hangul population and rest influx of livestock herds of nomadic communities like bakarwals in the dachigam national park has been a challenge for years now see after closing down of the traditional routes these nomads leading to over dozen alpine pastures especially for example in goreez valley they have been closed by the army after the inception of armed conflict in Kashmir nomads have not been able to graze their herds in those pastures so they are taking their large herds of livestock to the upper reaches of dachigam during summers and other dangers of hangul population include the excessive predations also by common leopard himalayan black bear and nomadic dog so talking about this in detail the problems the hangul's identity is in crisis there is decreasing population also so just a part of problem the main reasons behind decline hangul's population if you want to divide this into few you can name a few first is your habitat fragmentation predation is there lack of breeding and survival then female biased ratio female biased ratio is like another major challenge that female male and female fawn adult disparity in the hangul population decline in hangul population is mainly occurring due to low recruitment rate of fawns to adults that these fawns are killed or they get killed by any means they are not converted into the adults there is no time that they they become adults rest we discuss these three now why it matters a lot to protect this animal see known for its giant antlers they have 11 to 16 points also on them hangul is a very beautiful state animal of jnk so you need to understand this the animal is considered equally significant to the state of jammu and kashmir as tiger is considered important for whole of india and it is even a sacred species globally red deer i told you about it and this is now the only species left subspecies left of that kind next it helps in balancing the food chain also the hangul has a unique role in the region's food chain as a major herbivorous animal it ensures that grasslands lines of grassland survive and are not swept away by the forest ranges and even it reduces the man animal conflict because second hangul can satiate the hunger of leopard for 5 to 10 days thereby reducing the man animal conflict so even if their population is in lead then leopards 
won't come towards the villages or cities so it is thereby reducing the man animal conflict also so to conclude here we should say that the magnificent and the royal hangul deer that once lorded over the kashmir valley finds its existence threatened in its last bastion it is the dire need of protection from the ongoing challenges in the state for the long term if we talk about conservation of hangul it is necessary to take up conservation efforts beyond the protect areas though systematic efforts are already underway to conserve them however continuous inbreeding that is important geographic isolation have reduced their genetic diversity this is genetic diversity is very important and what happens when their reduced genetic diversity is there any natural calamity or disease outbreak can cause local extinction of the species because there is very less genetic diversity they can easily fall prey to the natural calamities and the diseases if they outbreak hangul needs a multi pronged strategy and restoring a viable ecosystem for animal is the first step towards giving an impetus to the endangered species if we need to save them we have to take a multi pronged strategy we have to involve the locals we have to make certain strict projects and laws for them for the conservation policy rest you can suggest in the comment box what could be the way forward to increase the population of the hangul so this is about today's lecture if you have any queries you can contact me on instagram facebook telegram thank you